Okay. Hello, my amazing Virgo people. My name is Jessica from Pos... Let's do it again. All right, cool. <laughs> Hi, you guys. My name is Jessica from Prospect Park Tarot, and today I will be giving you a August 2019 tarot offering for the month to come in the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, if you feel like it. You feel me? Um, okay, so let me tell y'all what happened before I did your your um your reading right so i'm shuffling for you guys now but before i was doing the sign of taurus right and i was giving them basically like preliminary information on certain ways that i felt before i started the reading and then as i got into the reading my phone like suddenly just turned off you know like my battery didn't die or nothing my phone just turned off so i took that as a sign from spirit that <laughs> No, you feel me? So what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to give you guys any preliminary information just to make sure because what I'm feeling and what the cards represent can say two different things and I want to give you the messages that spirit wants to give you itself. So let's just jump right in. You feel me? All right, cool. Thank you so much. We're starting off with the seven of swords in the reverse. Um... What else can Spirit tell the beautiful Virgo people for August 2019? Thank you so much. You got the world in reverse. Um, what else? Thank you so much. You got the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. What else we got for you? Thank you so much. We got the hanged man. All right. Um, what else? Thank you so much. You got the queen of wands in the reverse. What else? Thank you so much. We got the knight of swords in the reverse. Okay, what else? What else we got to tell the beautiful Virgos? We got to tell y'all. Your cards are coming out so quickly. When I was doing Taurus, it was taking forever for the messages to come out. Because the way I do tarot readings, I just shuffle the cards and I allow them to pop out. Because I feel like those are like the cards that Spirit really wants you to get. You feel me? But when I was shuffling for Taurus, like the cards were just stuck in the deck. Like it was taking a while. But, um, hmm. Interesting. One more card for the sign of Virgus. Virgus. <laughs> One more card for the sign of Virgo, please. What do we have to tell Virgo to wrap up this month of August? What are we? Thank you so much. Oh, too many. Yeah, too many. I'm not even doing it. <laughs> One more card, please. I still regard the cards that I don't take, but I just don't leave them spread. But I still take it as a as a subliminal message. You feel me? Dang, we got two more cards that came out. All right. The end of the month is looking a little iffy, huh? What we got to tell... Thank you so much. Beautiful. Okay. What came out was the Ten of Cups in the reverse, but don't worry. We gonna take cups. We're gonna take care of the reversals for those of you that the reversals. Um, for those of you that the reversals um, worry, but under the uh, oh my gosh, guys, I'm so sorry. Let me. Okay, bottom of the deck for you guys is the star. So this is guidance coming in for you. So um. Here's what I see for you guys, kind of right off the bat. You may have felt that you were working or or that you were working so hard but the results weren't matching. Or you may have felt like 
you would do simple things, but the effort would be so great to do these simple things. And it's just like, why is it so hard to take a step in this direction? You feel me? I feel like in the past, you may have felt you may have felt blocked. You may have felt like like you were giving more than you were receiving in a way that was very um, disen discouraging for you guys. Um, I see that with the seven of the seven of swords right here with the world in reverse. Let me flip these over. So these both are reversed, right? And then in the upright, we got the ten of wands, which shows um, burden. So with the seven of with the Seven of Swords, I feel like definitely something is... In the upright, I feel like this is someone manipulating. But in the in the reverse, I feel like it's the feeling of having something taken away from you and not knowing exactly what or exactly how. With the world in reverse, it may feel like you believe your luck is, um, is not where you would want it to be. But usually with the world card... Whether it's in the reverse or whether it's upright, it still has the same meaning for me. It has the meaning of um, fortune and opportunity. And I feel like the only reason why this is reversed for you is because this is your, this is how you see it, okay? This is how you see it. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to flip the world card over for you and I'm going to make it upright. But I'm going to tell you how I see it being upright for you and how you see your fortune really coming in and your work really paying off for you guys, okay? So, um... Let's keep going. So on the second row, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like you may be coming into a payday. You may be coming into a new job, a new opportunity at stability, maybe um, a new relationship in which someone can help you. But I feel like definitely you are coming into a time where you are finally being paid more or finally being acknowledged more. Um... After that, we've got the hanged man in the upright. So what I feel like here is that you realize you have to make a decision, okay? You have to make a decision between, am I going to keep doing what I was doing, which drained my energy, which made me have very little energy to put into the activities that, that I was giving into, kind of feeling like you were out of it a little bit. But with this hanged man, it's giving you the option, okay? It's giving you the option to stay stuck. You feel me? And you stay stuck by um, by carrying on the same routines. Because obviously, if the first row, if you felt like the first row, those routines that you were engaging in or that mind state or the energies around you were not letting you feel free. So you have the choice now to, um, to basically cut yourself down. But in doing so, it's going to take some work in a different manner. And after that, we've got the Queen of Wands in reverse. So what the first thing this tells me, basically with the Queen of Wands in the upright, this is someone who is successful. This is someone who may be coming into your life to help you get something that you need. But in the upright, it's someone who's successful, someone who's um, charismatic, ambitious, you know, just a bubbly personality. But in the, in, the, um, in the reverse, I feel like this is somebody who is, a little shy, a little reserved, someone who doesn't take a lot of credit for things. And I feel like you can first start to um, start to see your blessings coming in to fruition, to seeing your work start to pay off is to start taking credit for the things you do. You may be working in the background, you may be doing the you know, the tasks that don't really mean anything. And I feel like now it's really time to start putting your name on things this month. So I'm going to flip this over for you as well. Um, definitely I feel like August is a really good time for you guys to, um, start being noticed, but, but you have to, you have to put yourself out there first. You really do. So with this queen of wands, I flipped it over for you guys. I want you to do the more glamorous aspects of whatever you've got going on. Um, be more present in your work. Okay. And I feel like to be more present because I feel like before you may have felt like you were kind of a little distant from reality. But in order to be more present, what I need you to do is stop trying or stop expecting it to be what you think you deserve. And just do it because you love to do it. Do it because it's part of your life, you feel me? So let's say if you're at work and you don't necessarily like your job, but you have to work to pay bills. So it's like 
be present anyways. Because if you're going to be there, you might as well enjoy yourself, you know? You might as well be comfortable within yourself, okay? So definitely start coming into yourself at this time. Um, after that, we've got the Knight of Swords um, near the last row. The Knight of Swords, basically, also it's in the reverse. So what this is telling me, almost the same thing with the Queen of Wands. You're a little hesitant because in the upright, the Knight of Swords is aggressive. The Knight of Swords is like, you won't see me. But in the reverse, the Knight of Swords is kind of like, Ugh, wait, wait, you know, this may be running into a wall. This may be just feeling like, mm, not yet. You feel me? And I feel like this mentality or this energy around you that says not yet is really what is making you see so much lack but you have to you have to put your all into something to reap the benefits and then at the same time it's like if you're focused on the benefits of your work then those aren't going to come in because instead of focusing on creating value you're focused on creating wealth and with this ace of pentacles i feel like that's coming for you but you just got to put yourself in the position to be prepared and deserving of it. You feel me? So I'm also flipping the Knight of Swords over for you guys too. Free that energy that has you blocked, that has you hesitating because you've got abundance coming in. Look, charge towards it. But if it's but if it's in the um if it's in the reverse, you're going the opposite direction. So I'm going to flip this over for you. So you meet your abundance just saying. Okay. The next card we have or the last two cards. Let's do these at the same time. We've got the Hierophant and we've got the Ten of Cups in the reverse. And I'm flipping all of your reversals over because I feel like right now the reversal is what made you feel like you weren't getting the credit you deserved. So as I reverse these energies for you, I need you to reverse the energy in your own life. If not, then the message resonates as it is reversed, which is just a message of missing opportunities. Or missing opportunities to be recognized. You feel me? So with the Hierophant in the reverse, I feel like um, this is kind of you not taking the time to... It's you not putting enough effort into mastery. It's kind of like, I want it now. I want it my way. But sometimes the best thing you can do is practice. The best thing you can do is hone your skills. So I'm going to flip this over for you. Do the work, do the practice, do the boring way. You feel me? Do the textbook version. And then once you've got the textbook version down, then you can start adding your spin on it. Then you can start adding your your um your personality into it. You feel me? So I'm gonna flip it over and I'm just gonna ask you guys to do the work. Um practice definitely and you know just hone your skills, hone your talents, hone your beautiful character that you have you feel me so you can be more present in your work so you can start seeing those benefits that you deserve to see because you've been working okay but it's time that people start seeing that and then i'm flipping over the ten of cups for you because i want you guys to be happy and beautiful and lovely but in order to flip this ten of cups look you gotta fill your cups up babe you gotta fill your cups up this means maintaining relationships texting people you love saying hey what's up let's go Putting the work in your work, you feel me? If you have a job, be there. Do it like do it like you like to do it, okay? Train yourself to like all the kinds of work that you do, the boring work and the glamorous work, you feel me? Because that's what's going to get you recognized. And I really feel like people are going to start seeing your value at this time. This August is really just, this is your son, I feel like. I feel like right now, oh, your underlying energy is the star. So I feel like you are being divinely guided. I need you guys to um, trust your intuition and trust your ability to deliver. Trust your ability to be in the spotlight because you are divinely guided by the star. You feel me? And look, you got one foot in the water and you got one foot on the ground. So it's like balance your emotions with your intentions, with your practical intentions, okay? Because Virgo people are very practical people. You know, they're perfectionists. They are um, they can be organized. We all know, like, not all Virgos are organized. Me, I'm a Virgo rising. But anyways, that's besides the point. Anyways, what I want you guys to know is that I need you to marry the, the passion and the drive and the will to be seen with the actual work, okay? And that's what will... 
that's what will grant you the star, okay? And you can be the star of this month if you allow yourself to be present in it. So let's pull you guys a couple oracle cards and then we'll wrap up your reading. I really love this reading. I really do. I really, I really, <laughs> I really like the way this reading headed for you guys. But anyways, the first card you could have is be fucking grateful. Be fucking grateful. Can you see that? Oh my gosh. How do I make it focus? Does that work? I don't think it works. But anyway, it says be fucking grateful. Shit could be so much worse. And that is the truth. Be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for what is coming into your life. Because I do see abundance and prosperity. That is an option that this table has given you guys. So know that it is yours to claim most definitely. Don't give your power to this, you feel me? But if you like what I'm saying, claim it. <laughs> claim it. Say, this is mine. She's talking about me. You feel me? But, okay, another oracle card, please. Thank you so much. Oh, fucking apologize. Seriously, just do it. It may be, um, in order to get the recognition you deserve, maybe it requires you to put your pride away. And admit where you were wrong so that you can move past it. So take care of that as well. And then one more oracle card for the beautiful and successful Virgo, please. One more card for the beautiful and successful Virgo that is reading or listening <laughs> to this message right now. What's one more thing we would like them to know? Too many. I said one. <laughs> I said one. Okay, let's keep. Okay, let's keep shuffling. Thank you so much. Okay, drop the fucking ego. Vulnerability is hot as fuck. Okay. In order to be successful and to be recognized, you must first be known. Okay. So be open to putting yourself out there, putting your work out there, and having yourself recognized critiqued and then appreciated this was a really great message you guys um i really look forward to hearing about how this goes we'll check back in in about two weeks where i'll do your mid -breath reading um but definitely i really need you guys let's read these again because i really need need this to stick for you guys because i see beautiful coming thing i see <laughs> beautiful coming things i see beautiful things coming if you just surrender and allow yourself to be seen, okay? So the first one, it says be fucking grateful. The second one, it says fucking apologize. And the last one says drop the fucking ego, okay? Be vulnerable at this time. But thank you so much, Virgo. That was your reading. I'll see you guys very soon. And you just have a great month, life, year, everything, okay?